Nigel Farage has been slammed by Claire Byrne, who claimed that the former leader of the Brexit Party had no clue about the history and culture of Ireland. The former Brexit Party leader only last week was forced to apologize for saying, up the raw, in a birthday greeting, which was commonly used in support of the IRA in the 80s. The RTE presenter confronted the GB News presenter hitting out at his perceived lack of knowledge of Irish history. The presenter said, look, I know you've apologized for the birthday greeting which you delivered in the last couple of days. But I want people to see just how much you know about the history and culture on this island. A video clip of Nigel Farage giving the greeting then played on the news show. Nigel Farage is seen in the video saying, now, but early in the day, so all I've got actually is coffee, but I hope you enjoy a few pints with the lads tonight. Up the raw. Ms. Byrne continued, I know that you said sorry, I know you get 87 quid, it's entirely within your rights to do that. But come on, don't try and lecture the Irish people about the culture and history and precarious nature of peace on this island. You haven't got a clue. Mr. Farage went on, if you want to be. Do you want to be an independent democratic nation or governed by foreign bureaucrats? That's the question that Ireland will ask itself. Those of you in the national media and national policies in Dublin will fight that as hard as you can because you've all benefited financially. Do the Irish people wish to be independent or not? And that is a debate that will happen in your country in the next few years. He added, and wow is it, why don't you ask yourselves the question, why did you fight the British? Why did the Irish nationalists fight the British for 500 years? 500 often very bloody difficult years until the 1920s. What was the point of it if you are now governed by the European Commission? Ms. Byrne said, I think people will be entertained to hear you talking about this. Mr. Farage said, oh that may be too inconvenient for all of you in Dublin I am sure. 